Andrew Tate is notorious for his controversial lifestyle and outspoken views. From his infamous comments against women to his controversial statements about mental health, Tate has never been to shy away from the limelight. From his provocative tweets to his eyebrow-raising interviews, Tate has never shied away from stirring the pot. Buckle up and get ready to be entertained, because with Andrew Tate, there is never a dull moment. Hello everyone, in today's video, we are going to talk about the most shocking controversies of Andrew Tate. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get notified of the latest updates on our channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got a juicy scoop for you. The internet is buzzing with chatter about none other than the one and only Andrew Tate. Formerly a kickboxing pro, now a content creator and influencer on Instagram. This public figure has been stirring up quite a storm with his controversial statement. But here's the twist. Despite being called out multiple times for his problematic behavior, his fame only seems to be skyrocketing. That's right, folks. It's like the more trouble he gets into, the more people can't stop talking about him. And today, we're gonna dive deep into the top seven most shocking controversies of Andrew's life. Prepare yourself for the story of scandal and controversy. Our protagonist, the one and only Tate, burst onto a scene in a way that had nothing to do with sports. No, no, no. This wild card made his mark on reality TV with a bang. It was the 2016 season of Big Brother in the UK, and Tate was in the house, which made him more prominent to the world. But oh dear viewers, trouble was brewing. It seems that our hero was involved in some questionable behavior with a woman, which was captured on video and leaked online. The footage showed Tate brandishing a belt and striking the poor woman with it. Shocking, right? When asked to explain himself, Tate insisted it was all just a bit of roleplay that the woman had consented to. He even claimed that the belt in question was made of felt, as if it makes it any better. To add insult to the injury, Tate took to Facebook to defend himself, claiming that the woman in the video was actually laughing and hitting him back with the belt. What a wild card. Love him or hate him, Tate certainly knows how to make the headlines. Let's just hope that he learned a thing or two about appropriate behavior since then. Tate's the kind of person, well, uh, just can't keep his mouth shut. Following the Me Too movement, he decided to share his oh-so-brilliant thoughts on rape and sexual harassment. And boy, did he ruffle some feathers. According to the Metro, this guy tweeted out that sexual harassment was disgusting and inexcusable, which, you know, is a good start. But then he went on to say that if a man just looks at you or whistles at you, or heaven forbid, asks you for your name, that's not harassment. I mean, come on, Tate. Are you serious? But wait, it gets worse. Tate also suggested that women have been trading sex for an opportunity for, like, ever. And get this, some of them even did it willingly and were not abused. And if all that wasn't bad enough, Tate went on to say that if you put yourself in a position to be raped, you must bear some responsibility. Uh, excuse me? What? Thankfully, Twitter came to its senses and suspended Tate's account. And the cherry on top? His tweets were later removed from the platform. He caught quite the attention with a bold assertion that it's perfectly acceptable for a man to have multiple partners, but heaven forbid a woman should do the same. To defend his stance, he cited the Bible, claiming that not a single woman had a multiple husband while every other man had multiple wives. He even went so far to say that such behavior is against the will of God and disgusting. People all over the world seem to be positively incensed by his remarks, with many calling him out for his blatant misogyny and sexist attitudes. But hey, who knows, maybe Mr. Tate will come to his senses and realize that women are every bit as entitled to sexual freedom as men. Or maybe he'll just keep digging himself into an even deeper hole. Only time will tell. It appears that Mr. Tate had decided to relocate to Romania back in 2017 and set up his very own cam girl business. Oh my, what a cheeky fellow. But that's not all. It seems that he also made some rather bold statements regarding sexual assault in the country. 
In a now deleted video from his YouTube channel, Tate claimed that it's much easier to get away with such heinous acts in Eastern Europe. Oh dear, how scandalous. Tate does act that it's the 40% of the reason he moved there because he's not a darn rapist, but likes the idea of just being able to do whatever he wants, as he likes being free. In fact, he went on to say that if you're a man living in the Western world, you run the risk of having your life destroyed by any woman at any given moment. Quite a pessimistic outlook, don't you think? Well, I do hope that Mr. Tate has learned his lesson and is now conducting himself more respectably. After all, one cannot simply run a camgirl business and make such outrageous claims without facing some form of retribution. Oh, the audacity. As per the records, Andrew Tate took to Twitter to unleash a tirade claiming that depression is a fictitious concept. He cited an article from Mirror stating that feeling sad is nothing but a temporary emotion and one should move on from it. He further stated that depression is not a clinical illness, but rather a circumstance that people must change. According to him, most depressed individuals are just dissatisfied with their lives and are too indolent to do anything about it. They hide behind the facade of depression to absolve themselves of any responsibility. Andrew believes that people defend depression as they need to validate their own incompetence. In his opinion, a better diet, exercise, and a sense of purpose in life can replace antidepressants, which are just a ploy for the modern-day commercialization of mental health. To prove his point, he questioned how people in war zones with dead family members around them can still manage to work and function, while some others are too depressed to work. Andrew concluded his diatribe by challenging people to either call him names and defend their safety crutch or accept the truth and work towards changing their lives. Well, one can only hope that Andrew's perspective on mental health is as imaginary as his airline. It appears that most of his scandalous statements that have gone viral are those that intentionally takes aim or belittle women. I mean, we're talking about quips like, women are as capable of driving as a fish or riding a bike, man can play around but ladies can't, or girls between 18 19 years of age are more attractive than those who are 25 because they've had less exposure to male genitalia. But wait, there's more. During the BFF podcast, Mr. Tate also decided to objectify women and compare them to our furry, four-legged friends. You can't be held accountable for something that refuses to listen to you. You can't be responsible for a dog that doesn't obey you, or a youngster who doesn't obey you, or a lady who doesn't obey you. It is a good thing he's not trying to win any awards for chivalry or diplomacy, eh? Well, well, well. Earlier this year, the Daily Beast had reported that Tate's humble apple had been invaded by some not-so-friendly human traffickers. A lady had claimed that she was held captive in the house against her will. But hold your horses, folks. No arrests or charges have been made yet, and the Romanian police agency claims that they are still investigating the case. Even the US State Department is being tight-lipped about the matter, stating that they are aware of reports of a US citizen held against their will in Romania, and that they cannot spill the beans due to privacy considerations. To add some more spice to the story, Andrew's brother, Tristan Tate, has stepped forward to defend their family's reputation. He vehemently denied the Romanian media report, which stated that the police had found some women in the house who were being held against their will. According to him, no girls were found in my house and nobody was arrested. We tried to reach out to Andrew Tate for his comments on the matter, but he seems to be MIA. We can only hope that he is not hiding in some secret bunker trying to evade the authority. Stay tuned for more updates on this gripping saga. And with this, we reach the end of today's video. What do you think about today's video? Share your opinion. Do let us know in the comment section below. And if you liked today's video, give us a thumbs up. And do not forget to hit the subscribe button. Share this video with your friends and family. And press the bell icon for more upcoming videos. We will see you next time with newer videos. Stay tuned and take care.